Chelsea. Yeah. A great way to bounce back from Tuesday, 3 1 win here at Warren Town to progress to the next stage of the FA Trophy. How do you assess today overall? Obviously, extremely proud of the boys. They've um, they've come to a tough place. You know, I've been here a lot over a few years, and it's uh, it is it's an extremely tough place to come and get a result. Um, thought we were excellent in the first half, especially. Um, obviously, we changed shape. I had to bring a couple of players in. Uh, and the lads that came in did excellent for us. Uh, so, yeah, it was, was really a good performance. We started the second half really bright and potentially could have got ourselves maybe that second goal that we probably needed. Um, and then Warrington do what they do. You know, they, they send bodies up on you, they, they hit it direct, they get bodies around it and they do it really well. Uh, caused a few issues. The goal itself, the equaliser, I mean, look, they had a couple of chances, but the equaliser itself comes from you know, a little bit of sloppiness, we give a free kick away in a dangerous area and then it's unlucky, you know, it's a great delivery in, we try and defend it, a little nick and it comes off Harrow and you know, you feel for him because he's only just come on the pitch. Um, but then from that moment on again, we push the other way, you know, we started to get ourselves back into the game. Cedric comes on and makes a hell of a difference, um, you know, really good to have him back out there, obviously caused their back line all sorts of trouble, deserves his goal and obviously creates the uh, the penalty for the 3-1, for the so all in all it's not been a bad day. Obviously, as you say, with the with the Warrington getting equaliser, sort of unfortunate because we defended really well defensively in a, in a good solid block. But the character from the lads just to sort of brush that aside and get back on their front foot and go and grab the two goals is ultimately a great way to sort of finish the game. Yeah, and I think Fence will be buzzing when he sees it um, because the the attitude and the application of the boys the whole game. I think at times we were sloppy in possession. You know, like the lads at the back, we have, we have a lot of the ball and. Today at times we we forced it passes into into little areas, um, and Bees has got these always well drilled. You know that they're gonna kind of they're gonna let you have the ball at times, but they're gonna give you traps and they're gonna pounce on you. And they, and they did the counters a few times, and we had we gave them a few spaces. But every single time we gave the ball away, no matter where it was, the the effort and the the application of the boys to get back in as a team. You know, Knighty on that left hand side running back in, JJ on the other side coming back, Mika when he got back in there. So. You, that's all you can ask. You know, a team like us, we're going to have the ball. We're going to have days where we give it away sometimes. And you have to have the right attitude defensively. And I thought today we were, we were so dogged, so determined to, you know, again, determined to keep a clean sheet and unlucky to, to concede the goal. That said, they did get in behind us a couple of times and Al's made a hell of a save as well. Um, so, look, on the balance of it, the second half, I think it probably could have swung either way. Um, but again, as we've touched on there, the way that we carried on, the way that we kept pushing the other side, especially when Ted uh, came on, and then that defensive doggedness and that determination to not lose, it was it was there for everybody to see. It's been a run of three away games on the spin so far as well, some good journeys in there, but returning back home to take on Chorley on Tuesday night, followed by the game on Saturday as well against Peter Sport. Obviously nice to return home, but how can we take today's result and performance from this competition back into the league to get back up there? Well, hopefully the lads will look at today and, and show and show themselves, show each other, like have that kind of determination to, to replicate it because you know we had this chat on Thursday night at training, you know, we're not a bad team, we haven't got any bad characters, we work hard, we play good football, but when we drop off our level by a couple of percent regarding the, the work ethic and the running we do end up getting caught because you can't afford to do that, especially like when we lose the ball, we don't lose it by bombing it and losing it to their goalkeeper, we might lose it in the middle of the pitch. So the high speed effort of our game and the, and the amount of running we have to get through has to be high. And today it was absolutely brilliant. And if we can replicate that on Tuesday, we know Charlie are a good team. You know, you can see there from their recent results and the amount of goals they stuck past Arlo, they're not going to be a rollover. But if we can match the work ethic, we're a match for everybody else regarding football. So. Look, they've got to recover the right way, you know, the squad's not exactly deep at the minute, we've got a few injuries still, but we have got people coming back, which is great, you know, Knight has come back, made a difference, Sez has come back, making a difference, Harry Arnes has got into the team and had a really good performance for us, couple that with the lads that are playing week in, week out. I'm sure Chorley are probably looking at coming up to us and thinking, that's going to be a tough game. So if we can play that out game, stick to the, the effort, the application, out of possession and get that shape right, get that doggedness right, we'll be fine.